Most of it was about uh, stop painting nails and focus on rugby. So I always used to get called a man for playing rugby. I don't think I'm a manly man. You don't have to look anyway to play rugby. Hey! Hey, what's happening? Nothing, where are you taking me though? I've heard of a sick place called Townhouse to get our nails done. Okay, you're stunning, yes. Take me. Let's do it. Anyway, so what nails are you going to get? Well, I have a few options. Thinking Leicester. Yeah. Obviously. Big move. Hey. Big move. Yeah, looking forward to it. It'll be good fun. A bit different, change of environment. It's an emotional time. But um, no, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, change of, change of scenery, new coaches, new voices. Yeah. Going to start supporting Leicester City so, or? We'll see. No, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 I won't be doing that. I'll still loosely follow Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea. If they get better. Anyway, so why do you get your nails done? Any reason? Do it, because I used to bite them. Did you used to wear the, um, the like, nail varnish that like, tasted Taste funny? Grill. Yeah, I hated it, because it kept like, it? getting my food. Did it? Yeah. What, you eat it with your fingers or something? Well, I feel like a sandwich or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. I was going to say, you just drove past you like your dinner, you're dinner, <laughs> yeah. you're tucking it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when they're painted, it stops you from biting them. Because they look nice. Because they look nice, exactly. Yeah, I don't want to check them, you know. Yeah. I also like wearing jewellery and stuff, so I suppose it's it's almost that kind of thing. You can't wear, obviously, jewellery when you're playing, so... No, you can't. It's my That's way of kind thing. of wearing jewellery without wearing jewellery. I do like the styles that you bring up. Also, I like the tattoos. Have you got any? Yeah, I've got one on my ankle. It's very hidden. What is it? I don't know. It's matching to one of the other girls that play, and she picked it, and okay. everyone just says it looks like a wish washing machine symbol. <laughs> There you go, you can see it. It's not a washing machine. No, but like apparently there's like look? a sign on the washing machine that looks like that. Oh, right. So that's where people get it from. And your, do yours mean anything? Or you just... um, some do, some don't. Ghost, who are you ghosting? The ghost, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is matching, my girlfriend. Nice. This is my dad, mum and sister's initials in that's like nice Latin. Sign, yeah. uh, Golden Snitch, Harry Potter. We won't talk about that. Yeah. Silas Trident for when I went to Greece. Uh, I'm probably going to like add things, so like where I go. Are you going world. on holiday? You know when people come back and it's like they bring back fridge magnets? You're going to bring back bring even more tattoos. tattoos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I feel like a fridge. I like mine hidden like a surprise. That sounds funny, oh, doesn't right. it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take my clothes off and you get to find out. Surprise. That's better surprise. If you're going to go karaoke, what would that actually be your song? I have thought about this. I generally do think you do need a song just in your back pocket, just in case like, the moment comes. Mine's Jonas Brothers. Don't then. No, I'm not saying that. No, <laughs> Which one? No, Burning Up. Who had it? No. Give me a. No, I can't. On, I can't. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not singing. I'm not singing. I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Go on. No. Go on. No. I get shouted at, but you know, I have to now, like, mime the national anthem because everyone said how monotone I was and it really <laughs> threw them off. I was really? like, okay, sorry, Adele. Right, concentrate on driving. Yeah. We're not singing. So, like, off the back of it, when it came out with the England documentary, when you got your nails done, did you get anything from it? Like, did anyone give you stick? Or? After the England game, you know, you, know, you get like tagged. I tried not to look at the comments, but what did it say? Most of it was about uh, stop painting nails and focus on rugby and all that stuff. You kind of got to expect it a little bit, being in the public eye, like we are. Yeah. So, like I say, you're always going to get someone or something, and it's just like. Uh, yeah, you just ignore, like yeah. the, the most important people are the people around you, not what some anonymous account is putting on your Instagram or something. Preach it, sister. <laughs> <laughs> do you get do you get a bit of it? When I was younger, I used to get stuff, but it was more like face to face at school. So I always used to get called a man for playing rugby. Oh, really? Yeah. And now my Instagram is very much. Like I play rugby, but also when I go out, it's like you can see me mm. with like my nails done, hair done. You can tell. Like I'm a girl, yeah. like leave me alone. But yeah. also then like the people that used to say at school, I'll go back home and see them, and it's like mm. you're right, and they're like, oh, so proud of you, yeah. and I'm like, eh, okay, I nearly quit because <laughs> of you, but don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's happened a lot in rugby. I think it happened to a like stuff did happen to a lot of us when we were younger mm -hmm. but um i think because we all like 
were quite a tight group in our like rugby club. Like I wouldn't have quit because of I enjoyed going there to see my friends. Yeah. Like you look back and how many girls drop out of sport anyway at the age of 16. What I don't like in women's rugby at the moment is like, oh, anyone can play rugby, but I feel like they're referring to like tomboy people okay. playing and it's like, yeah, anyone can, but like also it's more like girly girls are like yeah. staying in rugby as well. You don't have to look that way. Mm to play rugby, you don't have to look anyway to play rugby. So like on your Instagram, you show like loads of stuff, well, social media shows loads of stuff, like your cats, Harry Potter. Do you think it's good to like show, you know, as a rugby player, you're keen on other stuff as well? Yeah, definitely. I don't know about you, but I'm on both ends of, I'll be looking at the basketball players, seeing what they're doing, what they're wearing. Yeah. And then we've also got someone looking at us, seeing what we're doing and what we're wearing. So. I think for us it's it's definitely important to yeah show people what we're about and there is more to us than like what you see on the pitch. Yeah, I agree. So when you look at fashion, I, my favourite player is Steph Curry. Yeah. So nice. I'm always like watching him, watching highlights, um, seeing what he gets up to. Also for fashion, probably Russell Westbrook. Yeah. He also wears quite like out there outfits, so it's quite cool to see what he's what he's wearing. And AC Milan, when they did the off-white. Yes, that was so cool, so cool, wasn't it? Oh my God, I wish Saracens could That's do that. That's what they need, yeah. <laughs> they need like a Jordan or someone yeah. to come in and sponsor someone. Yeah, so I, I get inspired by other athletes and stuff and definitely inspires me to be out there and try and change people's views and all the stereotypes about what is around rugby. And I suppose in the men's games, you know, it's about being this manly man and you know, down in pints and all that stuff. <laughs> I suppose I think I definitely can't down a pint. So I'm definitely not in that stereotype. I don't think I'm a manly man. I think obviously off the pitch, I try to express myself. And I suppose that's what I'm trying to show like the people, people that I'm inspiring. Yeah. It's not necessarily just going out and paint your nails, but it's, I don't know, it you can be anything. who you want to be. Yeah, you yeah. don't have to fit into that. Your interests, yeah. your hobbies even if it is a bit out there, just... Yeah, same as mine, it's just showing, well, because of what I went through. Mm. And, like, I felt like that wasn't there for when I was younger. It's so people can see that rugby can be like that. You've got two sides that you've got, how you are off the pitch and how yeah. you are on the pitch. It doesn't all go into one and you don't have to be a certain way. You can still be yourself and express how you are off the pitch.